think it's hard to it's hard for people to acknowledge the scary side of cancer and people don't want to and I think I'd be exactly the same if it was one of my friends I wouldn't want to acknowledge that scary side either but people that are going through it need you to one of the things about having cancer is it's such a you know, your whole life is cancer then. I just miss um, feeling normal. We didn't really hang out in the same circles, but because she was always a leader and I was always in trouble, so our paths sort of crossed quite a bit, so. Look out, she's coming, the captain. She's coming, she's on her way. Kate was heavily involved in drama and um, I loved drama, so we were in a few school productions together, which was fantastic. Then everybody knew Kate. Um, wasn't very close friends with her then, but um, I lived overseas for a decade and then when I moved back to Melbourne, she kind of went out of her way to um, make contact and include me. We met. I think it was like one of those orientation days in grade six um, and I remember sitting next to her for that and then yeah, year seven onwards. Everyone went their separate ways and um, I went to TAFE, a lot of other people went to uni. Heard news along grapevines but that's about it. I suppose when I first started writing about um, my diagnosis I was doing it mainly for me so my family, my friends, um, it was again because I was finding it hard to talk about how I was feeling, writing it down kind of helped, helped, you know, broach that and then I also didn't feel like when I saw people they didn't need to ask me a, mi a million questions about what was happening, they just knew. Uh, the day I found out Kate had breast cancer, she was usually fairly active, or is usually fairly active on social media and she had been a little bit absent. But yeah, really just shocking news. You know, it's almost surreal. You're reading the message and you can't believe what you're reading. And you also, you know, I don't know anybody else with cancer, so I didn't even know what that meant. Like, how far along was she? Was it, what do I say? Like, what do I do? You know, a whole lot of things going through your head. But... Well, it was Kerry's idea. She, she said, let's, let's just do something to raise some money. Let's, let's raise some money and give Kate a good night out. I sort of kept away until one of her posts on her, on her blog really hit me. And I just thought, oh, this is just, it's too much. I have to do something. I want to do something because I can. I was expecting, you know, 50 to 100 girls from our school <laughs> to sort of rock up and you know, let's play bingo, let's do a, a bit of an auction or let's do a, a trivia night or something, I don't know. I don't even know what I was expecting. I was excited though, I thought, oh well, it's a good opportunity to get out and go and have a drink and, and you know, we'll just all get together and everyone will have a laugh and, you know, it'll be a good night out type thing. Yes, yeah, so that's a pretty incredible, you know, a pretty incredible thing to do for somebody, especially somebody that, you know, is not in your immediate friendship circle anymore or, you know, somebody that you don't really see that much of. You're friends with them on Facebook, but that's, you know, kind of the extent of it. And it's been 20 years since we finished school, so it's a long, a long time. So basically within the first week, we had pretty much all of our major sponsors. It basically snowballed after that and it's just made me so proud of being a part of this charity but having so many wonderful friends and um, having so many wonderful companies that want to be a part of this. It's been amazing. So, you know, most people that you approach have been willing to hand stuff over and turn it into this wonderful event, you know, and I, I can't believe some, like you just, you'll send off an email expecting, you know, someone to give like $100 or $50, which are all, that's amazing as well. And then sometimes you'll get things, you know, sent through, you know, a $1,000 worth of clothing and accessories from one store or, 
I just got an email back from a jeweler on Collins Street and they're donating a $4,000 necklace. And I, remember, I just remember saying to my daughter, my eldest daughter one day, uh, you know, telling her about the event or that I'd done something or other, and I said, oh, what do you think about this event? And she sort of just looked at me and said, I think it's really kind what you're doing for your friend. <laughs> Sadly, the statistics at the moment are one in eight women will get breast cancer in their lifetime. Um, those numbers are, are astounding. Um, what's really lovely about the Something for Kate um, crew, that you know they're all old school friends, and yes, they may have lost touch, but it's um, I think it's really really wonderful. We need to work together to spread understanding about what it actually looks like, because I think sometimes when you dress it up in a little pink colour, make it all fluffy and feminine, it almost normalises and normalises a disease that is really quite horrendous. You know, we're all busy and things get busy and you don't, you don't, you take people and the things around you for granted and I guess even if you can spend a little moment every day just being grateful because, you know, we are, we're all very blessed, you know. Sometimes it's really hard to do something, not just you know, to step out of your comfort zone or to find the extra money to do something or to even make a decision on what to do. It's really hard and you can feel quite powerless with all this negativity around you. So it's been really empowering having something positive and something that's worthwhile to work on. As long as I can make Kate feel good and happy and just so that she knows that we're all here for her and thinking of her, then that's it. You know, I want her to feel normal again. And I know that sounds strange, but, you know, she hasn't felt normal since she's been diagnosed and I want her that one lunch, even for a few hours, just to feel like one of the girls again. I don't know what to say. They are, they have put the biggest smile on my face this year. I'm so, so grateful for everything they're doing. Not only for me, but for, you know, women everywhere. They have such big hearts and, um, yeah, I just feel so loved and so grateful for, for you know, everything that they're doing in, in, in creating something for Kate and making this amazing gala and giving me my own hashtag and, you know, just, just bringing something really beautiful out of what was otherwise a pretty devastating year.